Hey there, it's that mama, and it's time for tutorial part three, inventory cleanup, tools for your inventory. Happy watching. Here's part three, inventory tools for your inventory cleanup. The warehouse storage box at 75 Lindens with land impact of one. The intelligent storage box at 100 lindens with land impact of 9. The cattails storage box at 145 lindens with land impact of 3. The inkwell book box storage system at 580 lindens with land impact of 13. The bright inventory box at 600 lindens with land impact of 1. The CTS wardrobe at 699 lindens with land impact of 6. The SPAC gear storage vault set at 375 lindens, land impact not listed. And the Sortomatic at 1999 lindens with land impact of 4. Hi there, it's that Mama, and this is the last series of inventory cleanup. It's the series that we're going to do monitor reviews. And I have one product that I'm sitting on that I got from Jimmo. And this other product here, the plain looking boxes, I have bought because it just, it wasn't that much. It was from Linden's. I'm going to talk about a few of these products and then demo the two that I did buy. We can take a look at the first one and I'll, I'll provide all of these links, of course, in the, at the bottom. But here in the marketplace, we'll go there, look at this first one. It's called the Warehouse Storage Box. The Warehouse Storage Box when you're on a budget, then this product will meet your needs to organize and store your inventory. It also allows you to share items with others. And I've seen this used by several festival event organizers. They put it up on the wall just so I could show a picture for the designers to share their products and gifts among all the designers that are participating. And the video is a great illustration of their product and how to use it in the textures and nicely textured print. So it works well, $75. What could go wrong? Each box has a land impact one. Even with the scripts inside and everything, they've managed it to have a land impact of one. So they've done a really good job that way. Now, that was the second one that we're going to go to. It's also on at the marketplace. It's called the Intelligent Storage Box. With the Intelligent Story Box, it is on the 100 Lindens. The land impact is nine per box. But this boxing system is a no-nonsense design that allows you to store all of your inventory items and label your boxes the way you want. It also boasts that, that the box includes live item count, personal box label, intelligent inventory, and unlimited storage. So I kind of just, it piqued my interest to find out what they mean by intelligent inventory. And I guess when you load things into this box, they have a schematic, they've made a script that will rename what it is down here in the corner, in the uh, right hand corner, the bottom one, I put my landmarks in and it labeled in L, okay, L landmarks. This one, I put some clothing in and my clothing from Yaliz and it labeled it 
T-O. I don't know. I didn't label it clothing. I really don't kind of understand that. But it does. You can label it. And then it does have an item count. So you can put these properties probably to share to someone. You could probably put it to the group so the group can use it. It doesn't talk about that. It just talks about your own personal use. But I would think that you could probably do that. But that's how you can uh, view it to make sure that everything's in there correctly before you delete it from your inventory, because that's the premise of this. You can leave these world, or you can take them into an inventory. I've made a couple, and you have to, you can't take copies of these. You have to take them into it. And it says in the instructions that the box that you take is mod and copy, allowing you to drag a new box from the inventory. But once you take it, it becomes a no copy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you right here. This is, let's just drag another one out. Huh. I've got to rotate it around so it shows and you can see what it's doing. Okay, means our box. And I'm going to go in here and find just some clothes. Notice that that was a new copy. It left my folder and it's not still there. That was my box that it originally came in. Like I said, I like to keep those. Now that should be securely in my box and it shows that I have four items in there and it labeled it TO again so I guess clothing is TO intelligent inventory label really has no meaning to me but I guess it's nifty because when you go like this it's not really sorting it doesn't have a sorter with it it's not going to particularly sort it or find it anything like that but it, it is an inventory account Hi, <laughs> got my animals running the bow and then when you click on it you can go label and this is star bright clothing I'm going to call it clothing dashed star bright team characters probably so then, I guess I can do it like this. Clothing. You're limited in the characters of what you can call something. So let's do it that way. Clothing. Start right. So let's, let's keep this in mind when we go along. There's some things that just you're limited in. Here's the looks of it. We'll zoom around and pan around these boxes that's insides of them nothing it's a packing box kind of a cute idea and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this into my inventory and you'll see what that looks like it comes back into this folder so it doesn't come back renamed anything and let's see what happens if I wear it. It doesn't become a HUD. I can look at it and see if this is my stuff. It is. So when I renamed it, it just puts it on the outside of the box. Let's do a little trial and error view. Let's detach this. Let's try it back out. Turn it around again. It's frustrating the design. But then I'm facing the opposite way. So that's why my camera is set up to face. OK. 
people. But okay, that's my star bright yet. So therefore I can go in here and go edit and drag my things back into my inventory, but it's not going to create it under a folder. So if I were unpacking this box, because it doesn't come with an unpacker, I would have to set up a folder in my inventory just to include these items. And also to clean this up, there's no cleanup function. All, all you get is that, just a label. So there's no clean the box up, delete everything. You have to do it in a manual fashion, making sure you do not delete these two scripts. For the overall money, it looks cool, but the nine land impact is disturbing to me because there's other things out here that I'll be reviewing that only have one land impact or four at the most. And then the limabilities of this product. But as a no-nonsense product, like I said, it, it functions exactly as it should. There's no problems. And the technology is very easy. The intelligent inventory label is of really no big use. The design of it is, is cute. We'll move on to the next one. We'll go on with Cattail Storage Box. 145 Linden dollars. It's another inventory to box solution. The land impact is three per box. Let's go here and see an example of it. So here it is. And why it has the arrow keys is because it does sort your items. So you can scroll through and see exactly what's in the box. And the name is up above it as a titler. This it's another budget friendly product that will store your inventory in world or you take each box back into your inventory to store it. it. Zips up your inventory and keeps your items safe and doesn't cost you a bundle. It's the in world design is very plain and primitive, but it is said to work on unpad as well. So when it's in your inventory and you add it or wear it, it will be a HUD that you can scroll through and look at. Retrieve your items. Go to the next one. This one is called the Inkwell Book Box Storage. So. It's like a little bookcase, and I could see this in my room in SL. So that's a very catchy item. But to have this bookcase out like this, it costs the land in at 13. The system itself is 580 linden. So it is getting a little bit more expensive, but this organizer takes the box factor a notch, notch higher with a solid scripted object that is attractive and functional in your SL home. It also allows you to track the usage of your inventory and share your items with others and track their usage as well. The instructions and function is easy to start using and makes it a streamlined way to store your goodies. It spells out how to use it. There's also an antique version. Go look at that. That. And it has a nice PDF instruction 
that shows you how to set up and use. And with its intended uses, it says you can use it as personal storage to hold your collection of textures, clothing, animation, note cards, or objects. Excellent way to offload your infinitely used inventory. It's a way to store and share inventory. And it not only stores your items and gives you, gives you a convenient way to retrieve and share items, it also maintains a usage log. So that's one of its claims, is that it's an excellent way to determine what items in, in your inventory you're using and your group members. So it's just, it's kind of neat. I thought, wow, I could really put this in my library room and it would fit in very well. It's a, I'm still deciding upon it. Here is next the bright inventory box. So it's another inventory organizer at 600 lindens. The land impact is one and it is in second life. And we'll look at it in world. And there is the actual product to buy. This is a drawing box demo, but it, this is one that I may consider using because I, the design of it and the functionality, the pricing is in bid range, 600 lindens. I'd have to play with this a little bit more in my decision, but it, it seems to be a neat little product. Let's sip home. Back to mom. And we're back to the next one that we can go on our list. That is called CTS Wardrobe. Now, this one is a little unique. Let me go ahead and take my spot here. Focus down to myself while I'm talking to you guys. It's not the one that I'm sitting on. <laughs> this one is only for clothes. So it is not going to organize your whole inventory. But after using this product, you will have the skill set. I guarantee you will have the skill set to manage your folders in a way that in your inventory that you will have your inventory completely organized. Not backed up, but you, you'll get it completely organized because this functions off of the technology of the RLV and so you have to have that set up and working and it takes you step by step how to do all this that it takes it has a very large learning curve to work with this product it does work off of a head so you don't have to have the uh, armoire out but what is like this, she's laying here, you see the picture of what you're going to put on. You'll see all your wardrobes in picture form, all the clothes. Very nice to pick out your items. They come in different colors, some different styles. And this is very, I'm going to take you to it in the world. The design of this is another thing that, oh, wow, I could see that in my house. When you see a product and you're sitting there going, oh, I could see that in my SL house. It's a great selling feature. Let me go ahead and talk a little bit about this. The wardrobe organizer brings a pictorial view of your inventory to life and gets you highly organized. It's only for clothes, 
so the rest of your inventory will not be cleaned up nor backed up. The large learning curve to use the product is also a little daunting, but there are great step-by-step -step YouTube instructional videos out there to explain the process. This designer had a lot of friends working with him or her to develop this, and they did some really great jobs. I watched some of the videos. I didn't get to watch them all, but one person does little training videos, five minute, covers it, boom, boom, this is what you do, this is how you use it, and then only about, it stretches over a span of three or four videos to learn what to do right away. I think it's actually three. And then he has a few more to really dive into the meat of it and how you could use everything in it. So just really great job on all the explanations, all the instructions. But once you've learned the ways to reorganize your clothing folders for this product, you'll have that skill set to tackle the rest of your inventory with detailed folders and nesting your folders inside one another. You can, like I said, you can run this by the HUD only, or you can use the wardrobe and resident and have it left out all the time. The price is mid-range, 699 lindens. It offers a beautiful and fun virtual and visual clothing closet for you to use. It's not saving your items. It is working off of your inventory, so that's why you have to give it permission to use that. Pictures. If you were creating a new avatar, I would get this because it will manage your clothing and it will not be a jumble of mess. This person, Bata, Bataka, Batakwa, that's the videos that I watched. Great videos. Just, and I want to show you. It's getting there. Okay. And I'm not too sure the last time I was here, but no. Yep. Still open the doors. Close the door. The website that you can see your clothes yeah. and the system set up and it just cycles through it just so quickly so there's pictures the hood looks the same if you're wearing the hood the hood looks the same thing and have a little image my dear was screen that you can see a lot for sure. It's a long and lengthy process to set this all up, but boy, when you uh, get it set up, it looks like a little dream. So the next item is only on the marketplace. Let's bring up my sheet here. Here is Fax Gear, set at 375 Uvindens. The land impact is not listed. I did not buy this to try it out. It is HUD driven as well, but Linden's a little bit too much for me just to test drive the texture version of it. And then also it has the storage vault and works off the main folders. They used to sell individually for 250 Linden's, but on this link down here, it's no longer operating, it no longer has a store and world. This set includes Spaxgear's inventory box, texture viewer, and landmark organizer. Like I said, you can no longer get the individual items from Spaxgear's mark, um, marketplace store. You can no longer purchase them at the gadget kiosk because upon further investigation, the store rule is no longer Spaxgear. The inventory storage system can be worn as a HUD or REST world. 
I didn't have any further information on the land impact, like I said. And there's not any further information on how it looks, if you can change the textures, you know, what the actual thing looks like when you res it. General, what you'd be looking at is the storage vault. You're interested in that. Some people might be interested in the texture vault. I didn't look on second line to see how much texture bolts are. There's a bunch of them. And here's Phoebe one. That was one linden. Someone's put up a nice one here for 10 lindens. So just to use it solely for a texture, not that great. The price is not that great to solely use it like that. To solely use it as a storage vault. I don't know because this person might not be available for problems if you run into problems because it's no in world store, it's not up to date, it doesn't have an instruction page or a website, anything else to go and look at for any problems. If you have any problems or issues, it might in the instructions, but you have to buy it to get the instructions. The big thing that it's now we're featuring on is a storage vault. And it says it categorizes a storage locker for placing your boxed content. When filled, you can wear it as a HUD to retrieve your items. Inside the locker is a storage box with a perm script that will display the name of the locker an account of its contents. Res as many of the storage boxes as you want and edit the scripts to suit your needs. So it is copy and modifiable, but you need to really know some basic editing skills and script skills, which may not be for you. It also holds your boxed content. So that means that you were to go in world and then put your items in that box and label that box and then drop that into his unit, I would assume, and then take his and add it or wear it and then it does everything that all these other systems have done. It's another one that it's like a no-go for me at 375 Lindens. Now it's a no-go. The last one that I am sitting on is really pretty unique. It has a small learning curve. The it has the largest price at 1,999 lindens. Yes, sir, Bob, that is correct. Let me say it again. 1,999 lindens. You can see it in world. He's still in world functioning store. So that's always good. This box that you're viewing takes up four land impact. So that's very small. The Sortomatic comes with a very nice demo to try. You can play with it and get comfortable with how the boxing structure works. It's a larger box. I don't believe you can shrink it down. Nope, no controls. So this is the size you get. It does work very smoothly in world. You leave it sit out in the world without fear of losing your items, or you can collect your items in boxes to minimize your inventory and reduce clutter. And when you unpack your boxes, they deliver to your inventory into manageable folders. So this little box that I'm sitting on is called the Sortomatic. And it will back up and store your folders as well as sort everything once you drop it in. 
I'm going to start by just dropping items in. I'm going to use this Seven Seas Fishing Kit. You don't ever drag a folder into it. What they suggest to do is hold down the control key on your keyboard and drag the items in to the sortomatic. So we can go like this, select all these, hold down the control key, and drop them in. Copy trans eight items. And then you can, and it shows no trans and no copy. Okay, and those drawers will automatically close after a short time of not using them. But to see what you have in here, you say list all here found 7s guide to fishing breeds so it lists it all in local what is in there now according to the instructions after you've done that and dropped it in you can go back and open it and get those items out now it says give and i guess if you say give you could say give everything that has this and then it's going to give me those three items so what I had in my inventory, minus that, because it didn't have GHT in it. So that's how just the loose items work. Now it does suggest to work off of a folder prim. And how to create a folder prim when you want to make a folder prim. To create a folder prim, you click on it. You say new folder. Let's call this one GHT close. I'll move that in there. And again, you go like this and select them and drag and drop them into there. It turns corresponding to that. And then to place them in here, you can go like this and you take it and you'll see that it's called that. Then you take this and drag and drop into here. And that will store that box in the store. You always replace the folder print back into the sort of matic. When you're ready, if you want to take a whole drawer back, push here. You unlink. It unlinks everything. It says demo object link. You say yes. Okay. So you take and right click and you take a copy of it. And it should appear. There's drawer number, it tells the date. These copy drawers can be resed again and renamed to whatever you like for backup archive purposes. To link this all back up again, attempting to relink drawers, you just touch it and it relinks everything. And it's still keeping those 17 items in there as well. And then you have your backup right here as well. 
It can even hold scripts. You got to make sure that you do the select and the drag and drop with scripts. That way, when you drag and drop the script in here, then it they makes it inactive. So it will even store scripts. But primarily, that's basically how it's used. Really nice system, nice looking. You can leave it out in a world. It only takes up, as you can see, four land impact, even when it has items in it. So it doesn't have a huge land impact. But other than that, you don't change the shape of it or the look of it or the color of it. There's not any options like that. But it does have a very secure system of holding all your items and backing them up and also getting them out of your inventory. But that is the Sortomatic. And that concludes all of my products that I have gotten from the marketplace and tested out. So I hope you like all of these reviews. And if you do, you can hit that subscribe button at the bottom and subscribe. Thank you.